bothering me that I'm having to say this again. Okay? Why do some of you think it's totally okay to demonize an entire demographic of people? You know, it's, it's, it's totally cool to, to demonize a demographic. You know, to just, just speak against this demographic as if it's something that's going to help anything by continuing to demonize the demographic. But then you're against doing things to help that demographic so they're not doing things that are getting the demographic demonized in the first place. You know, the people that are just wanting to demonize the demographic, well, they might say, well, I'm, I, that's not all I'm trying to do. Well, then give some goddamn answers. If you've got some answers that can, that can help take care of whatever this problem is with the demographic, great. But if all you're going to do is speak against the demographic, you're going to shame the demographic. You know, and what I'm referring to is black people. You know, oh, oh, black people commit more crimes. Well, people know this already. That's why they're trying to come up with answers to maybe help this. I mean, what in the world good does it do to just keep... Well, black people commit more crimes. Black people commit more crimes. What good does it do? What are you trying to accomplish? Well, you know, people are being pussies and they're not admitting it. No, it's not an issue of people being pussies. It's the fact that people know what can happen if a large percentage of the, of the population starts to demonize an entire demographic. <sighs> okay, like, okay, imagine if the way that the AIDS crisis, if, if it would have been handled the same way as this. Oh, well, gay people spread AIDS. Gay people spread AIDS. Gay people need to stop spreading AIDS. Gay people need to stop spreading AIDS. Well, I'm just saying, yeah, don't try to do anything to try to improve the situation. Gay, gay, this is the one thing that I do have to say positive about ACT UP, and there have been other groups too, is it was bringing awareness to people of this issue. So it's not just this, this message of gay people need to stop spreading AIDS. Gay people need to stop spreading AIDS. I mean, just just put this in, put this entire thing into different, uh, you know, apply what you're doing to other demographics that have had that have had issues. You know, am I trying to deny that gay men still are one of the highest risk groups for contracting HIV? No, I'm not going to deny that. But stating over and over again that well, gay people spread AIDS. Gay people spread AIDS isn't going to do anything. All that does, by just saying that kind of thing over and over again, you know, gay people spread AIDS, all you're doing is you're actually making the problem worse. Let me be clear about this, okay? That sort of message, well, gay people spread AIDS, gay people spread AIDS, that kind of message is one of the very things that makes me have a fear of sex. What if the condom broke? What if uh, I had a cut in my mouth? What if this? What if that? What if this? What if, you know? It ends up being one of the major things that stops me from wanting to pursue sex at all. And the times that people have said, well, gay people spread AIDS, especially, you know, nowadays, and there are people that will still say that over and over again as if it's going to help anything. It makes me feel worthless as a gay man. It makes me feel worthless for being a gay man. So if you're saying this sort of thing to, to you know, oh, well, black people uh, need to stop committing crimes. Black people need to stop committing crimes. I mean, how is that supposed to make them feel? Well, I don't care about their feelings. I'm trying to spread awareness. What's wrong with you? When you say that, it's basically saying, we don't care about you. Let's not try to find any answers. Let's not try to have any positive messages whatsoever. Let's just, blatant, just go around saying, we don't care about you. 
How is that supposed to help anything? You know, I mean, it, it again. It's 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 spreading. It's just spreading a prejudice against an entire group. And what occurs? What is supposed to happen when the majority of the population hates this one group? What, what, you know, what, what are you trying to do? I'm serious. What are you fucking trying to do? Black people commit more crimes. Black people commit more crimes. Black people commit more crimes. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to raise, raise awareness. Like it's, it's, it's always that same answer, and, it's, and people try to say, as I said early in this video, because I'm repeating myself, because this is important. Okay, people already know these statistics. They know it. They get it. They want to do something about it, but you don't want to do something about it because you're saying, well, well, see, you're you're saying that uh, it's bad to to demonize people, so we're going to say it's bad to help people based off of demographics. You just want a fucking excuse to, 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 to shit all over a demographic. And if, and if that's, not what you're, you, you, that's not what you're trying to do, then actually think about what you're doing. And if you have some sort of actual prejudice view, then fucking own up to it. But this shit drives me nuts. We're spreading awareness. People know this shit already. And you know what? There are a lot of people that try to deny it. And the reason why they try to deny it is because they know that there are some underlying reasons why these statistics are the way that they are. Most people want to find a solution. If you're not working towards any sort of a solution, then just going around demonizing doesn't do jack shit except cause more problems and makes people feel more worthless and more like you don't care about them. Think about a courtroom and there's someone who's taken the oath and they're getting questioned by the lawyer. Well, did this and this happen? Yes or no? And the person wants to say, well, and wants to explain, well, yes, this happened, but these things. But the lawyer is intent on framing this sort of thing as, well, this person is guilty, right? Whether it's, you know, the person that's speaking or, you know, uh, they're talking about a situation with someone that, that, they're, uh, that uh, someone else is defending, right? So when you're saying... Uh, well, black people commit more crimes. Black people need to stop committing crimes. Did you see these statistics? Huh? Did you see the, the statistics? Did you see them? Huh? Did you see them? Well, therefore, psh, this. That's what this feels like. Because you're not, you're not allowing people to say, well, these are the circumstances. No, you won't allow them to say what the circumstances are. You won't allow them to say, well, those statistics mean this because of these things that are going on. You won't let them say that. They're supposed to say, yes, yes, black people commit more crimes. Black people commit more crimes. Black people commit more crimes, Massa.